do this video on uh, vector components, how to break a vector down into X and Y components. Uh, so far we have talked about if we have um, how to find the resultant vector or how to find the hypotenuse of the triangle. If we had a uh, vectors that are perpendicular to one another, if we had a vector that was going north and one that was going east, we add those vectors together and we draw them head to tail and then the resultant is drawn from where you started getting to uh, where you ended up and that's what we called our resultant vector and we used the Pythagorean th theorem for that and then we also found the angle using the tangent function well we're going to do right the opposite of that now instead of doing that we're going to be starting off with a vector that is pointed in um, you know, northwest direction or a southeast direction and we're going to break it down into its x and y components so we will be um, doing this instead we would start off with our vector right there and we're going to be finding our x and y components which would be our x component for this one in the x direction would be this and then our y component would be this one right here so we're doing right the opposite so you're going to be given the hypotenuse and you're going to be finding the opposite and the adjacent now your x will not always be your adjacent your y will not always be your opposite so you have to be careful with that so basically we're going to be using Sakatoa, you know, you've probably went over that before, where sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and uh, tangent is opposite over adjacent. But when we find the opposite and the adjacent, we're going to be just using the sine and cosine. So if we break this down, We're always going to draw our x and y. We're always going to label it our positive x, our positive y. We have a positive x. This is positive y. This would be negative x. This would be negative y. So our components have direction to them. If they are uh, an x component that is east, it's going to be positive. If it's uh, in the west, the x component is going to be negative. If we find a uh, Y component that's north is going to be positive, and Y component south is going to be negative. But so if we have this vector right here, and you have your hypotenuse, and you have your angle, and we're going to find our X we would draw. Of course, we'd have an arrow there. We would draw with dashed lines along the x-axis and that's going to be our x and then dash lines and then draw our arrow there. So our y is going to be in, in uh, the north direction and we label it y. Alright, we can use trig functions to uh, solve for this. So if we have um, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Alright, so we can solve for, we can move this around to solve for our opposite. So our opposite would be equal to hypotenuse times the sine of theta. Now as we go along with this video, I want you to stop it and write down these notes that will be our equation to solve for uh, the opposite angle whenever we draw these. And then we can do the same thing with cosine. Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. If we move this around, move to where we solve for adjacent, 
adjacent is going to be equal to hypotenuse times the cosine of theta. Write those equations down. They'll be easier to use that way instead of having to go, or you can go through remembering sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse and cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse and without having to memorize an equation. But if you write those down, I'll let you use those on quizzes and the tests. So if we look at some problems, uh, the first problem we have here is find the xy components. If um, you have a vector that's at 15 meters and it's pointed in the northwest direction and it's 30 degrees there. Well, we want to sketch it first. We've sketched the vector. Then we want to do our x and y components. That's going to be our x. My drawing's not good, so I apologize for that. That's going to be our y. You need to make it as straight as you can. <coughs> and like I said uh, before, our uh, equations we're going to use is opposite equals our hypotenuse times the sine of theta. So we plug in what's opposite in this case? It's y. So y is going to equal our hypotenuse is 15 times the sine of our angle which is sine of 30 degrees. And then if that's the sine and then of course adjacent is equal to our hypotenuse times the cosine of theta. And our adjacent in this case to the angle is our x. So x is equal to hypotenuse is 15 times the uh, cosine of 30 degrees. Then you just punch this in your calculator. So when I worked it out for uh, Y, 15 times the sine of 30 degrees, I got 7.5. And when I sign for X was 15 times the cosine of 30, I got 12.99. We can go two decimal places on this. We're not going to worry about significant figures. And I have to look. My X is in the, I have a positive X, and I have a positive Y. So both of those will be that. So my final answers would be X is equal to 12.99. And it's meters. It has the same units as my my uh, result and I started with. And y would equal 7.5 meters. And they would both be positive. Okay, so the next problem says find the x and y components. Um, for this vector right here, you know, it's in the third quadrant. So I got to, and the angle is here, so I'm going to have to find my x and y components. I need to sketch those in. I'm going to draw dotted lines down. That's going to be my y. And then over, that's going to be my x component right there. So when I solve for this, I you know I'm just starting back with, and I'm going to have, I should know from the beginning, I'm going to have a negative y and a negative x. So if I have, uh, you know, the sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So if I put that in, I have the sine of 55 degrees equals, and what's opposite of 55? Well, that's what my x is. And then that's over my hypotenuse, which I didn't have one in here. I'm going to put a number in here. We'll put 20 meters. And then when I solve for this, and I multiply both sides by 20, I get that x is equal to 20 times the sine of 55. And if x is equal, in this case, this is his sine, then y has got to be the cosine. So y would just be 20 times the cosine of 55. 
Alright, so I'll work these out. Uh, X was 20 times the sine of 25. I got 16.38 meters. And Y would have been uh, 20 times cosine of 55, which would have been 11.47 meters. So I could uh, put boxes around those. Make sure you know this one's the X and this one's the Y, but I gotta look. I remember I got negative X and I have a, a negative Y because they're in the third quadrant there, so that would be negative 16 and negative 11. If I get the sign wrong, then I miss the problem. So make sure you get that get that right. Now I can check this and see if these are the right answers. Remember how we did the first uh, set of problems? We did the legs of the triangle to find the hypotenuse. I could plug that into the Pythagorean theorem and I could do 16.38 squared plus 11.47 squared and when you do that it's going to come out to about 19.99 which is 20. So you can always check your answers that way. Put it back into the Pythagorean theorem after you get your XY components and see if you get the hypotenuse of the triangle that we're um, doing. But just remember um, that the equations, if you want a simpler version than having to go through all this right here, that with, with cosine, if you remember that opposite, whatever opposite is, if it's your X and Y, it's going to equal um, your hypotenuse times your sine of the angle and the adjacent, whichever one it is, your x and y is going to be hypotenuse times the cosine of the angle.